Hello and welcome back to another Django tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be configuring the development environment for static files. So here we're going to configure the static file directory. So on your website, you'll want to link to CSS, JavaScript and images. So here we're going to create a global folder whereby we can access these type of artifacts. In your main project folder, first of all, create a new directory called static. So in this example, I've placed an image inside of the static folder. In here, you might create additional folders for, for example, CSS, JavaScript, and so on. So now we need to go to the main project folder. In this case, it's static example and go into the settings. Now at the bottom here, static URL has already been defined. In order for us to utilize the static folder we created, we create a static file directory path. So here we're utilizing the OS module in Python, which provides the functions for interacting with the operating system. So OS here, we join the path components. So we have the base directory of our project and the folder we just created static. So we're joining those paths there to create a path to the static folder, which is now has our folder and our image placed. So the final step is to consume or utilize or link to the image inside of, inside of the static folder. So if you head over to your template, first of all, if you want to utilize static files, you need to load static files. So that needs to be placed inside of your file. And then we can call a static file. So essentially what we're calling is just the link, the URL. So here we're creating an, a URL to the image that's inside of our static folder. So you can see here that we're utilizing the word static, which is going to be replaced by the, the link to the folder. And then we name the file that's inside of the folder here. In this case, image.png. So once you've got that in place, you press save and then refresh. This is the image that's now being shown. Of course, if you did have a image folder inside of your static folder, if I place that image inside of that folder and now wanted to access this folder, if I go back into my template here, obviously what I need to do now is just define that folder, which is called image slash, and then the image name. So again, when I refresh, it's then going to find the image again. Okay, so that was configuring the static files directory in your main project folder uh, for you to serve CSS, JavaScript, images, and other files to your web page.